my name is Leandra. Um, I am the manager of operations and analytics at Saatchi & Saatchi. Um, my background is primarily in entertainment and media, um, where I've worked with machine learning, analytics, predictive analytics, um, statistical modeling. My career path is very non-traditional. Um, I didn't come from a STEM background initially. Um, my undergraduate is in music and business, so a, a pretty good portion of my program was practicing violin and taking music theory classes and all of that. But the other part of my program was focused in business. And I had an interest in the music business, so a lot of my experience in terms of internships and the business courses that I were taking were applied to marketing, analytics, operations, management of that sort. Did a lot of internships for marketing analytics. Um, I did an internship with the Ohio Department of Insurance as a predictive analytics intern. Um, so although my background wasn't initially in STEM per se, um, I've always been, I think, good, in num good with numbers or at least interested in mathematics. Um, and I loved analytics. I was always like really proficient with Excel and like SQL and things like that. So from there, um, I went to Carnegie Mellon and they have this really cool college called Heinz College and that's kind of their information system school. They have a program called Entertainment Industry Management and it's fascinating that it's based out of the Information Systems Management School. But because of that, I was exposed to machine learning, data mining, and all these other like information systems management students who are like getting paid swell at like IBM and things like that. So that was sort of like my first formal introduction to data science, I guess is what you would want to call it at the time. Um, and from there, I just picked up R. I already knew SQL pretty well. Um, later, I picked up Python. Um, I recently did a, uh, a master's in business administration where I focused in decisions, uh, decision science. And um, from there, I think it was just on the job learning. And um, I, I did it like a professional certificate in data science. And, and soon I'm getting a PhD in information technology. So I think just learning and continuing to learn was where I, uh, was where I got my start, the curiosity. I think the thing that makes me an effective manager is how personable I am and how I think easy it is to relate to me from not only a professional and a business perspective, but also just as a person. I try to always be personable and I try to have this mutual respect with people that I work with. Um, I don't try to come from sort of an authoritarian perspective. Um, there is an understanding an, a context in working for a company that we all realize we have to get a job done. I think that that goes without saying. So there's no need to sort of bring in this extra authoritarian sauce, if that's what you want to call it. Um, so I try to just develop a relationship with people that I work with of mutual respect and support. What has shaped my management strategy is my experience with managers in the past. So I always look back at positive and negative experiences that I've had with managers. And I obviously try to adopt the positive aspects and just try to think of how I can improve upon the negative things that I experienced. Um, and as I mentioned before, I think communication is really key. I think a lot of, of the negative experiences that I've had are because of the lack of communication. Um, typically, the understanding when someone has a job is that they have the capacity to perform that job. It's just that they're either not getting the resources that they need or the communication could be better or maybe they're not spending enough time on something or maybe I'm not spending enough time on something. But it's just as a matter of getting on the same page and making sure that we're communicating effectively.